Steve Tober, Sideline Chatter, D1 Media Pro, with Sandy Payonin, uh, the Road Runners, Golda Ock, uh, Mr. Basketball in New Jersey. I mean, I talk about Dennis Gregory, they're honoring here, but yeah. you certainly are a Mr. Basketball, and it's nice to be a part of an event like this. Yeah, Freddie Hill's a good friend of mine, and he's an uh, outstanding coach and great person. And uh, I knew Dennis Gregory well, and uh, was a tremendous person. And you're going strong. You must be about a, more than a half century of basketball, probably in New Jersey. I know, 40 NBA players with the Roadrunners. <laughs> That's good enough. You know, just having fun. And you say you have the next Kyrie Irving maybe coming up in well, your. Well, I have a kid that's better than Kyrie. When Kyrie, I had from eighth grade to 12. This kid's a ninth grader, 14 years old. And I've been training him since third grade. Mm. So he's, he's got a few more years that I've been training him. High IQ, like Kyrie. And his skill level is. At the, at when Kyrie was 14, is on par a little better than Kyrie was when he was 14. Probably want to keep his name under wraps at this point? Or? Yeah, I can mention <laughs> his name. He's at uh, Aiden Carter. Mm -hmm. uh, great kid, great student. What town is he from? And he's from uh, Fanwood, Scotch Plains. Oh, okay. His father, uh, Anthony Carter, coaches AAU with me at the Roadrunners. And he's now the starting point guard at St. Thomas Aquinas. Yeah, it's a program that's really coming on the last few years. And a number of sports, basketball has changed so much. I mean, AA, you were one of the early trailblazers in AAU basketball, uh, but there's so much competition, and it's so different now today. I mean, how do you see the change of the landscape today as far as trying to encompass it in a few words? Well, the game has completely changed from, uh, you know, an inside game to an outside game. So uh, the big guys are going outside and pretty much also. But uh, the other biggest problem is now with the money factor and everything. It's more about, you know, the money than the fun and happiness and to compete and enjoy basketball and develop at a high level. Kids and even trainers that I watch aren't even training back the way it used to be and developing the fundamentals. So they want them to run and jump before they crawl and walk. And you know, you got to be able to crawl and walk and learn the game. Um, so if you have a high IQ, like this kid Aiden Carter, then you're way above everybody else, even without the great talent that he has, skills, dribbling, shooting, whatever like that, his IQ brings him to a higher level. The fact that players seem to be concentrated at a few schools, that's been something that's going on for years. Is that something you just part of basketball in Jersey and nationwide and you know the great programs and then there you have a whole nother level and you, you coach at a different level in high school right right yeah. so you know they, the kids today they want the glitz and the glamour they want the names and sneakers I mean there's so many guys that have come up to me and say oh you coach Kyrie Irving I just saw a sixth grader yesterday I was up in uh, up in uh, North Jersey watching a fourth grade kid that his father's a close friend of mine and he plays he's really good um, the kid Brandon Berger and his little son Bryce is in fourth grade, and he's starting like on a sixth grade, seventh grade team. And but he, the thing he does well is he plays hard. He listens, has good attitude, and 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 picking up the IQ of the game besides having the skills. But uh, yeah, it's changed so much. It's um, you know I'm really old school and know how to teach with the new skill level, but. All the fundamentals in the old school there. And that's why uh, Kevin Boyle, who played for me and plays at Montverde, mm -hmm. when he goes against an Oak Hill or any of those teams, I expect him to win because he's a really good coach and works hard and knows the game. Where these other coaches just bring in talent. They're bringing kids in from Africa or anywhere in the world, but they just bring them in because they have size. They're not teaching them how to play. Mm. At the high school level, you're in the fifth division of the Super SS Conference at Golda Ock. You still enjoy that day-to-day -day work with the kids over there? Sometimes it's frustrating if, they, if the kids don't have an IQ, if it's not high, and again, caught up in all the glitz and the glamour. And, uh, you know, what they see on the TV, say, I got to hit a three, or this or that. Or, you know, I don't let them warm up with <laughs> earphones or any of that stuff. Pretty old school in that way. But they're learning the game and having fun. I teach there. It's a great academic school. And... Um, I'm also doing a clinic, just by the way, not to change the pace. Sure. I'm at um, JFK in Newark. So I'm doing it for third through eighth graders. It's going to start, I've been doing it for three months, but the new times are going to be this coming Saturday from um, three o'clock to six o'clock, third through eighth graders. It's free. 
And then at, from 5.30 to 6, we're actually going to have dinner for the kids and food from a, a big restaurant uh, in the area. And um, just try to give back and try to help as many kids to teach them the game properly. That'll be January 20th as we're taping this a few yeah, days before. JFK. Nice, nice it's on event. West Kinney Street, yes. Nice, nice. And it's run with the mayor of Newark. Mayor Baraka. Yes. Yeah. Well, Sandy, keep up the great work. You're still in great shape for a guy who's already 39 years old. So Thank you. keep going strong and uh, enjoy the basketball. Sandy Payonen, Roadrunners, Gold Ock for D1 Media Pro and Sideline Chatter. I'm Steve Tober. Have fun.